डिजिटल अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स बोर्ड दया दिवस शर्मा कर प्लीज कम ऑन टू द डायस I also request Umesh Sharma Garu to please come onto the dais. I request uh, uh, Past Chairman Shita Shirin Ma'am to hand over a book bouquet to our uh, Dayani Vas Sharma Garu. I also request Suresh Garu. To hand over a past chairman, we got grants to hand over a book bouquet to our uh, uh, beloved Senate Council member Umesh Sharma. Sir, I will not wasting much of our time uh, because uh, we please sir. We thank um, uh, the App Committee uh, for uh, allotting a national conference on the uh, technology, uh, digital dynamics, a window to the future uh, to us. Thank you, sir. Uh, Daya, sir, is the instrumental in uh, uh, sanctioning this uh, seminar to Vijayawada branch. Actually, uh, Daya, sir, uh, we thought of uh, doing it in a grand uh, sign with the more number of people because, as you know, that tax audit time and uh, maybe uh, Vijayawada branch is uh, fortunate to have conducting 25 career counseling programs. More than 40 child accountants are, uh, uh, because our institute is doing it as a Guinness Book of World Record um, uh, in a grand style. We are doing one mega career counseling program on at Guruvada, and wherein uh, seven child accountants are being employed. And uh, in the city itself, more than 25 career counseling programs, wherein uh, 40 child accountants are employed because uh, the institute is creating this uh, uh, program as very, very interesting for the future child accountants. So even for getting the article students for us also. So our child accountants are working on the same. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I just, um, the motor song um, to be fair. Thank you, sir. Friends, it's time to begin the national conference because uh, that because of the client timings and all these things, so we have shifted this uh, uh, inaugural session to the national session. We'll finish off this inaugural session in a short manner, and then we'll go to the next session, uh, technical session, directly. And uh, after that, uh, after the lunch, Umesh sir will be having our his own technical session on the practice management software. First of all, Daya sir will take up the uh, um, uh, digital transformation of our child accountants. In, before that, um, we are going to mark up this occasion by lighting the lamp, Deepam Jyoti Parabrahma. So I request all the dignitaries on the dais and also management committee members, please join for the lighting of the lamp. 
Sir, uh, today's uh, first technical session speaker, Sharon, sir, also a request to please join for the writing of the map. Sana? Suresh. Okay, Question. <laughs> That's <laughs> that. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now that opening remarks by our uh, grand chairman, Narendra Mohan. Good afternoon, everybody. Who want to take that much of time? We can take already. No, for time we did this for now. And then, ah, ah, for this far, I'm going to show you. Practice na level software that most of the anta gorada count to back end anta gorada saare hona lo. Ano na? Yeah, yeah. Okay, for the details ko. The situation. Na situation na time. Time. Ano ba kaya? 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 And uh, uh, on behalf of the other friends, I want to thank to you, sir. Actually, you have traveled from uh, Narco to here to address our members and reaching up our knowledge to your accepting this part of the uh, event. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, this ba uh, background, this uh, event already, man, already, yes, sir, has been done. Without that uh, support, we can't be able to start this program. Okay, thank you uh, very much, sir. There, sir. And there, sir, thank you very much, sir. मैं पॉलिटिक्स में जरूर मैं ऑफिस में लेंगे ऑफिस में करेंगे ये जो सब सेक्शन है आप लोग लांग टाइम के एजेंट के लिए कुछ नहीं एजेंट की है ये मैं नहीं वो अगर बिटी ले दो बिटी चल दो ना इस वजह से क्यों ना तो बस बिटी नहीं लेंगे तो थैंक यू वेरी मच आल द स्पीकर्स सरिंगल बोला and uh, I'm uh, Rayma, the program of the program out of love and affection of the grads. Okay, I'm home grads. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And, uh, and when you go to the the Tripathi branch. He is unable to join the program. He sent his wishes uh, for grand success of this program. Okay, he shared that information to me to share all the members uh, may be uh, waiting for that. Uh, um, I think the program is actual technology. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. Uh, from 2020 onwards, he is in the management committee in the various uh, levels from the branch level and the uh, regional level. Now, CCM levels are okay. I am going to the problem. Happy and busy. And uh, thank you for that. I think you have actually multiple tasks. You have to do member support. Too. And Ankokunda, all good good election, all good there, and pitching Maku, as a school, Pelkon, and one day, as well as the program, and even 
So thank you, sir. And now I request uh, Daya sir to speak a few words about the uh, national conference and also uh, about the technology part. Uh, he will talk in detail about the uh, his own session is there. Uh, after that, Umesh sir will speak about uh, just two three minutes. Then he is having his own session so that. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. Same or sorry. We are going to the station. So, you know that the member, we know each and every person. You might be receiving mails often about the latest technological developments uh, from the listing and also more special opportunities. He is the brand new leading member that is going to be created, which is advantages to all of us because you know uh, that previously that uh, tax consultants are also using the uh, number and signature of the uh, charge contents without uh, mentioning these things so now that nobody can tamper our uh, signature or nobody can this thing because of the union and all these things really is the main brain chain behind behind this uh, uh, that uh, union and also he's a central council member and he's a tax auditor and also he's a certified system auditor also he's a certified forensic auditor he's a managing partner of Lakshmi Nivas and Co. His father is also a pretty much on accountant and also a member. And uh, he's taken so many committees as a chairman or a vice chairman or a member in so many committees. Presently he's a vice chairman of Nivada. And then now I request in this briefing, I request the answer uh, to you. What do you about the council? Just five minutes and then go about the topic. Thank you. Nice of you, sir. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Regular <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, like, so, like, so, 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 and uh, I'm happy that you know my passion has been handed over to one more person who is technologically savvy and he is doing his bit. And today, the topic which is going to talk is primarily from the practice management software. More than me talking, it is better he talks on that and the kind of journey we have gone through to give it free of cost to charge the conference. He is going to talk about it, what kind of challenges which we have faced, and uh, you know, the fact is. What is there in that? What is going to come? And uh, second time, before I thank the chairman, he is to Srinivasa, who has actually coordinated 
the entire program and he's been following up with me for uh, multiple reasons. And multiple times we tried and actually uh, that we should do some program in Vijayawada on digital accounting and assurance. Yes, sir. One more point you said, sir. During the course of audit, G attacks on him. Shall I tell you something very important? Yes, sir. All people here are sitting in a tunnel Yes, sir. Number two. Number two. Number two. Six people have come here. You are those fortunate people who are actually thinking about the world growth and time. Anyone who is looking in the office and thinking about tax audit only, then I think there is something wrong with them. Honestly, I'm telling you. There are two things. The point number one, that you know, uh, you came to complete, uh, you know, you came here because we don't have that much of tax audits. We can do it at a later point in time or we'll, we have already completed. Point number one is that. Point number two is, we are waiting for a newer opportunity, what is going to be there for us, which is already not uh, there. It's already a past position where many chantacons have actually not done anything. Honestly, I am telling you. And the point is very simple and straight if you ask me. That the people who are sitting here are those people who are actually willing to learn something new. So even if there have been one person, we were talking English and I were talking, Mumbai and I were talking continuously, that what number of people will be there, we do not know during this tax audit is going to be landed in Vijayavada. He asked what type of practice is there, all discussions we were having. And he asked one simple question is whether anyone who is going to attend, what will be the number? He said, even if it is one, it should work. Not because of any other thing, it's basically. Till now, we are not understanding that the Institute of Transport of India has already moved completely, has already moved to a greater extent on digitization platform. Can mute it, yes, sir. Can you do what was it? Yes, sir. This is sent to my sovereign. So, if I ask what is the tenure of your practice, if a couple of people can tell how uh, can I mute yes, just you just mute yourself? Just 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 can you just tell someone who is doing what kind of practice here or what is that you are looking at in time to come? Anyone? GST and income tax practice. Bank wallet is gone already. Yes, sir. So we are waiting for GST and tax audit also to go. GST audit also is gone. Uh -huh. Tax audit is almost on the verge of right. going. Still people are sitting and doing work of the past. Waiting for a new opportunity to come. And by the time that, that comes, very few will take over the entire luck. thing. See, if you ask me, if you ask me, you want to say Yes, sir. Yes. Because I, I don't I feel you uh, discomfort to sit and talk. Might we'll shift that side. And we'll change the slides. Yes, sir. It can it be better. Be better. I can't sit it. All leaders <laughs> don't. Sharan, very Sharan gone. <laughs> so people like them are uh, very comfortable because they are faculties. And uh, thank you. You know, sir. You are done connected by the way. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Yes, sir. 
So primarily, when we are looking at a situation where these opportunities are coming and going, how much it is going and coming, on 30th of this month, there is a last date for doing an empanelment in certain. There is a body called certain where you can actually empanel yourself and actually be a certain. How many of you are DS, DSA qualified? Okay. A good number of people are there. So if it is a DSA qualified charter government, that means you can actually do uh, you can actually you qualify for getting yourself empaneled with certain. Certain is basically a body which actually allows you to get into a mode where you can do the uh, you know system on it of banks, of NBFCs, of mutual funds, of stock broking, of banking sector in totality, insurance sector in totality, mutual sector, uh, you know, this thing in the totality, SEBI, all the kind of engagements which are there, it is available for most of the charter commons and uh, no one knows them. And most of the people are actually still going for empanelment of bank budget, which is MEF or CNDG. The limitation is now how many banks are left out. That is something which we need to really look at. So this being one part of the story, the second part of the story is that still people are in the frame of mind that, you know, the tax audits and GSTs are going to actually protect us. The answer is big no. If you see GST, the way we struggled and got the entire thing into a shape where today, the, uh, actually it is like, you know, we killed ourselves. I'm sorry to say, by doing all the compliance work multiple times, Umesh Ji is here, who is a GST expert also. We have done, we have burned our midnight oil, we have done everything what is required and ensure that the portal of GST actually shines in a nice manner. <laughs> and then the entire GST, once you have established all the, I don't want to say some word, but the hard work, laborious work is been done by chartered accountants and we made the entire GST portal a grand success. The impact and the price which was given is GST audit is not there now. Thank you. Right, sir? Because the data which is getting collected, the data which is getting collected at the grass root is so pure that I don't require an audit. Because the moment I'm doing a transaction, my GST with HSL board itself is getting accounted for. Correct or not? I'm not good in GST. So this entire data is going. Now the state is coming where accounting packages have come by just doing a barcoding uh, scanning. Accounting entries have been passed with the entire uh, GST credits, wherever it has to go, whichever HSM code it has to pick. Wherever the debit and credit has to go, everything is going automatic. By just click on button, the return is just getting generated in the bigger products, softwares. Now, soon tally with Now, what has happened? Just see for a moment. Once upon a time, income tax portal was never talking to VAT portal. VAT portal was never talking to excise portal. Excise portal was not talking to Companies Act portal. No portal was connected to each other. But where is today? Yes. Because where is GST or VAT, where is service tax, where is excise, no one knows. But the point which is there is, today, if you have to file income tax return, from where the turnover and purchases are getting back? Yes. From 6K. That means all those transactions which are getting recorded on an event date and you have given window to reconcile, technically nothing is left out for your tax audit now. Forget that portal which is called MSME. MSME portal, what do you have to fill, sir? Only the PAN number. Right? The moment you fill, automatically data is getting fetched. 
that portion itself is telling what whether you are M S M E, which entity you are, and giving you a certificate. Where is this data coming from? Where is this data coming from? The data is coming from again GST returns or income tax returns. So all these points which I'm trying to put forward before you is the fear of digitization actually kill chartered accountants or is killing chartered accountants or will kill chartered accountants. I'm putting all past, present and future. But the fact which we all have to understand is we all are the people who have created the digital records. Yes or no? Yes. What is there in the why are we afraid that we cannot adopt technology? Forget this GST is the new one, no? What is 26 AS? What is now AIS? IAS, AIS? Yes. 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 What? What is that? Who is fed that data? Everybody. Now you tell me one thing. Based on your income tax portal, GST portal, your PAN card, banker, if you apply for a housing loan, based on the credits which are received in your bank account, banker need not do a loan processing. He is just going to put your name or your uh, uh, hand number or your Aadhaar card number, our history and future, both is there in his hand. So where are we heading towards? See, this is our institute process of learning is different. We still have the thinking that you know whether we will adopt technology or not. I'll give you another example of technology adoption. SSP portal. How many people realize that we have already moved to digitization of ICI? Yeah. Five crore data files. We migrated. Fortunately, I was again part of that entire migration yes. process. Five crore data files. You, where you did your articles is also there in the database. Which was not accessible to us. Full period. Our own data was not available with us. Now, how much five crore data files migrated in 18 months? Sub chodo, sir. You didn't. What is Udin generating, do you know? You can't even imagine. Today, if Institute wants to drill down, the purpose of Udin is different. We do not want to use Udin for other purposes. If you ask me, you know, what is the new leadership thought? The new leadership thought is the current president and vice president. They called me the other day and said, there is one thing you kindly tell me. Can we get the data pin code wise? What our members are doing. We can get it. You can get it. I said, just give me a little time, sir. No. I'll pull out the entire data and give you. You know what was the intention behind it? Can you imagine? The intention is if I take city, state, town, or a locality or a street which has a pin code, we will get to know what kind of certification most people are doing because you are already selecting which kind of certification you are doing. That means that woman will get to know and will get to know how many people in that particular locality are doing a traditional work or a futuristic. So that means if we are talking about pulling out the data, what we should do today might be these are the only people who are sitting in this hall. But tomorrow, when we want to do specific seminar for technology or upgradation of members, we will get to know the lack or the concentration of work which members are doing and we need to divert them. It is our responsibility as a council member, right? As an institute, we should ensure that more than any other thing, I don't want uh, pin code data for my election purpose. <laughs> but this election... Uh, you know, this entire learning process which is going to be there is going to be unimaginable. Assume that in this particular street, most of the people are only doing tax audit. And we know what is going to happen with tax audit. How do we upgrade the people? What kind of sessions should be there in time to come? So you want to take it negative, that can be negative. 
I can talk about one more situation. The highest number of urine generated by a person doesn't have a single article. Not in mind. So that data, if I want to drill down, I can go up to that level. How many audits are being signed by whom we get to know? What kind of certificates are by signed by whom we get to know? Whether the GST number is if he generated a UDL, whether a person raised an invoice or not on that also we can do. If you want to drill down on the other side, we are not interested in that side. We are interested in development of profession rather than getting into the profession. Now, these all facts, please understand, are being generated by all of us. We are actually sitting in a system world. Everyone has a fear digitization is going to take over our opportunities. No, digitization is actually going to give you more power to take qualitative decisions. But we have to re our results. You have to re-engineer. You have been re-engineering, sir. I'll tell you one important factor was all people who are sitting here. Srinivas, sir, my father is 78 years old. Right? When COVID came and faceless assessments have come and hearings were happening in terminal, the first time he called me and told me, Dad, tell me how do you operate this entire thing? It is a pain in my uh, back. The first time what I had to do, open the laptop, tuck, 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 and just put the system before and now you start speaking. Is it how do I speak like this? That was the first day. The second day was, he told me, come here. Now I will open the system. I will do certain, you tell me what all I need to do, one after another, step by step. Then I stepped next to him. I told him, step by step, you do this. Then he said, oh, now I got it. Third day. You know, what did he do? I am giving an example of a child account who is my father, but you all have that ability and capability. The third day, he told me to stand next to him. <laughs> he said, be quiet. Observe me. I will do it. You observe it. If I do any mistake, tell me. Fourth thing, the new thing. He called me up and he told these four steps you didn't teach me in past, now I'll show you what is there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is reality, I'm not telling anything. You can call my father and directly talk to him. What I'm trying to tell, please understand, the DNA of a chartered accountant is so good, no one taught us GST. No one taught us how to complete the IBBI, right? You are qualified, uh, Jensa. You have done valuation course. At that age, he might be thinking, okay, this is there, I'll complete. So the DNA of a chartered accountant is to adopt to the changes which is coming. Unique. Unique or not? So a round of applause for all of us. You know how we are. I just gave one example of my father. How oh, it stood my father. You are there, youngsters who are sitting in. Correct? If anyone comes and tells you that how do you do this, what will you do? You just say two minutes, sir. I'll get back. So which I learned when I started my practice, my father told me, no, you cannot join my office, you start your own practice. I started my own practice. <laughs> you know what I learned? Which shall I tell? Share something very important. I was paid to learn and deliver. You understood my statement? Yes, sir. I was paid to learn and deliver. Means client paid me. I was not knowing how to deliver. So I had to go and explore. That means I had to learn. He paid me to learn and deliver. So that is the frame of mind which every chartered accountant should carry in their mind. See, all this discussion which I am sharing with you today, whether it is 25-30 this people or 300 people or 3000 people, this is going to be same. Why? And only for one reason, because I go back to my memory lane. When I started my practice, how did I do it? If you ask me, I'll share something very important. In CA exam, I got twice zero in information technology. 
And you just imagine, I kept in two floppy, I kept one paper in between. You know why? My friend asked me, why? What are you doing? In an envelope, I put two floppies and one paper in between. I said, virus will get transferred. No. <laughs> so that is the ignorance. But today when you talk about a knowledge, you all people have done it. On your mobile, you are able to transform yourself. So the first and the foremost thing which we need to understand is what is digital transformation, digital transformation, digital Assume that is one more GHT law. That's all, no? Or DHT, digital transformation equal to GST. Digital transformation equal to income tax. Digital transformation equal to bank audit. Your mind will become very quick. That is nothing more than this. You started doing bank audits? No. You did. So this you did. So when you did bank audit, did you uh, have full knowledge of uh, doing a bank audit? How did you do it? Whose cost bank cost? Yes or no? Yes. Whoever is done here. Did you get to know exactly what you need to do in bank audit anytime? So my point which I am trying to drive is when you are talking about digital transformation of CAs, improving efficiency in a, as a digital firm. What is digitization? Sir? Nothing. Same income tax, same GST instead of one paper print document income tax return or whatever the forms we have, we used to have printed format. So from printed format, it has gone to digital form. That means I need to put, rather than writing, I need to put the data. Is the law changed because of digitization? Is the law changed? If Companies Act is there, whatever you have read, same company act, Companies Act is there. If you have to incorporate a company, you have to incorporate a company. In the incorporation of company, you require Digital signature, DIN, GIN, everything is there. So whether it is in theory or in practice, we would have actually generated that you know paper document filled in with hand. Rather than doing that, we are actually put. So digitization technically, we need to understand what is the impact. And let us go to the slide. I just take you to our mind here or no? Now, what is digitalization required? What is the what is the resulting in efficiency and effectiveness of one a chartered accountant or a CA student? That is the first step. That is the first step. Whether it's a student or a chartered accountant. Number two is firms, and number three is business. Industry. Correct. Now, how many? You have seen the new syllabus which we have designed. Anyone has seen, you have seen sir? You, you can't imagine. I am telling you one fact, sir. Today, this is the people. But till the time you show, don't shout and tell. Take it from me. The people who are going to qualify May 24 examination, they will be much superior to you in every form. In every form, including you all youngsters who are sitting here. I am telling you today. <coughs> I'm telling you today they are much. You know what is the new syllabus? Do you know what is the new syllabus? Everyone, a couple of people called me up and talked about uh, a fact that you know there you have actually reduced. I didn't reduce the council which reduced. <laughs> I only proposed two years article. Sir. First of all, we should know why it is done because most of the time people are saying that it is a long duration course and people are getting away from the course. Good quality people are not coming. This is a real. We have done a complete testing of it. Number two, now the students who are going to complete both groups of intermediate, right? You know what is there in ITT, new ITT? Can you guess? The new ITT is the student who is going to get into the ITT lab will do a mock process where a PAN card, how you visit income tax portal, how do you apply for PAN card, how do you file different kind of income tax returns he is going to be given to those students with free data to use left, right, center they can do. GST registration, how to visit GST portal, what need to be done, what how they need to approach, what is HSN code, 
what has been taught in theory complete practical that means a student who is completed intermediate and ITT will not be taught Word, PowerPoint, Excel. <laughs> They have learned it already in school today. Daughter is 12th standard, 11th standard. From 8th standard, she's already started learning that. We have removed all those things. We have kept it. MS access what it is. How do we use Power BI? Power. What are the different kind of tools which are available for doing different kind of analytics? The entire software is built in with so much of data, sir. And the student will be given six months of practice free. Now tell me one thing. Today we are finding it pain that an article might not be available. But just think about tomorrow. A person will complete his theoretical learning. He is also completing his practical learning. When he is walking into your office, you can directly tell him to sit and file the income tax return. Is it good or bad? 100%. Earlier we did not. Sir, earlier nahi. Post qualification also we didn't talk. <laughs> that means, just imagine where this person is moving. When you are talking about digitization, so what is the digitization? We need to understand. In a very simple language, I am putting it forward. I don't want to talk this, that, I am doing it. No work. This thing. No work. Because that you will do automatically. When you understand what needs to be done. I have got seven questions for you. Let us discuss. Very aram se. So what has happened? Now the student is going to complete. Now tell me Satish, in any of these offices, when you get an article, he will go through a website of MCA portal. He will go through an entire website of MSAB portal. He will see how an MSAB portal is there. What kind of data need to be put? What kind of information need to be given? They will be given huge amount of data and they have to pick up and put the data into the entire thing. Is it going to be a worthful article or no worth article? If he wants to study, you know, he is going today also to classes, tuitions. He doesn't come on time. The go early. So what we have done, bhai, you do one thing, complete your intermediate. Complete your ITD. Now you come to us for article check. Two years, Hathiri is going to do your articleship without any break. Then after six months of that, he has to go for exam leave. Now that means I am giving six months of time for exam leave. Preparation. Preparation to prepare. You attend office perfectly. I want you to be a skilled chartered accountant rather than a paper chartered. Is it making difference? So people have been talking a lot. I have to actually give this presentation before many people. To make them understand where our profession is moving towards. Now, the, what is there in the new syllabus for advanced ITT? Do you know, sir? Python, R, Power BI. How do you make a bot? How do you actually do the entire data analytics? Which are the tools which are available? How the data can be pulled out various from various sites? How that can run and give an exception report to you? So this is the learning which is going to Python is necessary to do. Because it is based on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Now just imagine, sir, all are there with me or gone? Yes, sir. Okay. You. Much better than what we are today. Yes, Keenly listening. No? Or just trying to say what is this guy talking about? If anything is there, let me know. I think most of them have heard Python today. <laughs> and I am telling you, I am actually cry by my heart. So even today, see, chartered accountants are not understanding where our country is going. Yes. Yesterday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi signed a special MOU with uh, uh, this uh, the country which he visited yesterday. Indonesia. Indonesia. Asia. Asia. You know what is India giving? We are going to be the leaders and teachers of technology to the world. Where are our chartered accounts? Honestly tell me. They are sitting still and filing income tax returns. It could be done with. I am not bothered, but the point is I am happy because I don't have competition. Good, no, I'll make money. After 
This is the only profession in the world which I can tell you from the day one we create our own competitors. Article is your competitor for future. Yeah, so which profession creates competition? Tell me. Or which business creates competition? Knowing the fact, by paying we are creating. This is this profession's beauty. But whereas we are lost in another uh, thought process at all. So my thing to you is chartered accountant and students and today okay. the young chartered accountants who are coming to our firms he might be from a village city town but he knows Google. He knows how to do a search. He knows how to do and use an excellent PowerPoint. Only thing is they are not aware of what kind of knowledge I need to pull out and that knowledge dissemination is our job. Next is the firms with or without knowingly unknowingly intentionally unintentionally we will be forced to adopt technology which today we have already adopted whether you like it or not it is there can you file an income tax return today manually is it possible can you file 26 years manually can you file the GST registration? If you write an application and uh, give it to the GST department, will it give registration? Your educated client, non-educated client, whatever kind of client it is, he has to put his thumb impression or might we put a signature to a generator? GST, right? Registration, if you want to do business. That means, likingly or unlikingly, you have to go through the process only, which we have been going. So this is one thing which is there and more importantly, businesses and industry have already adopted to the change. Point of sale machines. Did you go and teach your client? <laughs> UPI payments. Did you go and teach your client? They will teach us. No? They will teach us now. They will go ahead of us. Mostly. But they will come and tell in the morning walk with my friend which I was going to. He was just telling me. But your auditor is not doing this. I am not doing this to us. <laughs> that to say and ask us. And reality. Not just think over. No, let me just take you to the important point. After what time we can discuss? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So these are some questions which are there before you. I have a PPT which I am placing it before you. And I will give you this PPT which honestly I swear yesterday night when Janmashtami Puja was happening at home, I sat and made this PPT. Honestly, I don't uh, would like to say that I have done it later. And today morning flight, Umeji was saying that they are night flight. Yeah, gentlemen, with seven number. There is seven number. My total also is seven. Seven. James Bond is also seven. seven. Now these seven questions that I'll ask. First, what is digital digital transformation? How many of you can tell what is digital transformation? Simple term. Like, you know, you saw a movie, you know, the three idiots. <laughs> How many of you saw American three idiots? Almost everyone, right? So he asked, what is the... It's book seven. No, no, that is Indian. Indian. So the, Indian... <laughs> the question is first, what is digital transformation? Can anyone tell? Electronic transformation of the physical data. Khatam, that's all. What is your age, sir? 73. 73 person is telling. It's very simple. Did anyone teach him? Why are we afraid of technology transformation? Who taught us? Tell me one thing, no? Very simple. Right, Sriya, sir? So answer question number one is. Given by such a senior person. Now let us go to question number two. My slides are of more use because this is what chartered accountant DNA is. This is what I was trying to tell. Question number two is what is getting digitally transformed? What is getting digitally transformed? Innumerable data. Fasting No, let me take it. What is getting digitally transformed? Money and my means to transfer goods and services. No, no. What is getting digitally transformed is from paper to what is your answer? 
How do we get digitally transformed? How do we get digitally transformed? Updating the knowledge. That means learn. One more thing. Interest plus force is the uh, a, a fact of this entire thing. But how do you get digitally transformed? One is learn. Means educate ourselves. Number two. Learn is basically include practice. practice. Learn include practice. Second is collaborate. Only two things, sir. If you want digital transformation to get, get you here and get that confidence, first is learn. I'm going to share the slides quickly after this. But I want to just ensure that these all points are covered. Otherwise, other points will go off. And number two is collaborate. The younger generation. With younger generation, with industry experts, MDP, you know for a fact, how many have heard MDP as a word? Multidisciplinary practice? Anyone? One, two, three. Very few. We are the only institute in the world which is allowed MDP, you know. We are the only institute in the world allowed multidisciplinary practice. That means you can partner with CA, CS, CWS. Company lawyers, engineers, MBAs. Huge opportunity was. Can you just imagine? LLB also. You can make a partnership firm. You can make a LLP. How do you get about cost accountancy? MBAs didn't accept. Engineers didn't accept. Architects didn't accept. Who is not accepted? Lawyers are not accepted. Who is stopping you to do it? So the second part is collaborate. Because when you have a technical strong person, I should know there is one simple saying if you want to register, which is my fortunately best learning of my life, which I'll share with you, is either you know or you know who knows. Either you know or you know who know. <laughs> That's all. Next question is, is it the limitation for getting digitally transformed? Already 70%. First question only answer. Fifth question. Yes or no? There is no limitation. Sir, one thing I'll tell you today. Google can throw or chat GPT can throw certain best of the case laws. If you ask under capital gains, I want this information. Google will throw it, chat GPT will throw, and now uh, PowerPoint or uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, no, no, uh, Pilot is coming in. Go Pilot is coming in. It will also throw, it will give you 10 options. If you, you, me, he takes a decision based on that outcome, no, 100% or 99% will fail because experience will matter. So when I go to a senior member, they will tell for this particular case, this will align. So go for this. So speed is going to come. Is government digitally transformed? Yes. 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 Yes.
Just you will take two, three minutes for this. Government, in, when did this government come into power? 2014. Correct? Yeah. 2014, this government has come and they talked about one concept which is called Digital India. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Then we, you should go and see in Delhi, G20 summit, where which we are going to host this year, we are hosting and uh, doing the final conclusion. Across the board, it is Digital India Initiative, which is called Simple like uh, Lane Mass. No, Digital India, one, this thing will be there. Do you know how much budget was being planned for this year? Gross. Hmm. One lakh thirteen thousand crores. And everyone laughed at the government saying that these people are mad, they don't even know what they're doing. At that day, at that day, India was at 150th position for usage of data. Today, forget today, 2017, how many years back, sir? So eight six years, years, six years, six years back. back. Six years back. From that day till date, and I think going forward also now, India is reported to be the world's biggest country in utilization of From 150th position, we have reached to number one. And there is some discussion which I would like to do it later. This is very limited time for me, sir. I'm sorry. I understand. But please understand, where is that India moving towards have you thought about? Everything today you talk about is digital. You and I are behind. Once upon a time, there was a situation where we were ahead, government was behind. Now, we are in reverse case. case. Complete reverse case. There are a number of slides which I'll take you through. Uh, mind be one with session. Please put for three hours Definitely. and ensure that we'll drag people. I'll come one day before. Definitely. Drag people and make them so sit here. First of October, definitely. Because even no, Srinivas sir, please question. understand why today we are talking so openly is each one of you go out, tell people you influence what is digitization actually taking place. And next time, request them to come and join me. And you just tell that if that session is not good, you take meeting or you do it. Okay. Because huge transformation is taking place. Now, what was it? Government digitally transformed? The answer is big yes. One plan, 3,000 crores. Do you know one plan? In that time, 4,800 crores was a budget which was being given to make the data analytic lab in India. 4,800 crores. You tell me one thing. You are also receiving mails, no? Last year you have filed income tax return on this, this particular day. Why are you filing one day? Every quarter. Every quarter. Every quarter. Every month. Every week. Yes. Just imagine the AIS. What is AIS? Have you ever thought about it? From where did it come? Just one document which is called Arno. There's a big story which I need to talk about sometime. Are the businesses getting digitally transformed? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Robert. Oh, this is very simple, sir. Brilliance of Forget about research. any business. I asked one simple question because there is another. In the Not previous question, I had an answer. In the previous question only, I had to do that presentation which I am talking about. The point is business means what? Is it only industry or a huge business? Or even if it is a small vendor. Bani Pujwala is using. Bani is using. Mochi, Polish oil is using. Yeah. Bandi guy who is selling bananas is using. <laughs> what is business physically transformed? What is it? Where do you think that 165,000 crores per month GST is coming from? Now you just imagine what is the opportunity, what's our attack on this? So what will happen? Then yeah, Bahu Bali one, one Bahu Bali two. two. So this is Bahu Bali one. So Bahu Bali two will come back and discuss about it, right. right? But the fact is, these are all the presentation. This I made it for you all. This is I was talking about. No, learn, yeah, learn, learn. learn, which is basically already covered. Covered, right? How do we get digitally transformed? Mindset, 
new learning short videos visit firms which have transformed involve youth in the firm which you talked about so tell me one thing i didn't put any presentation no <laughs> you all have answers you all have answers now you decide where you want to go very simple you are interested in our profession yes <laughs> is a limiting factor I got consider our past adoption. Chodo past yahan pe present hi beta hai, right? Then is government going ahead? Aadhaar is the biggest transformation which has come. This is the digital transformation. This is how India is actually grown completely, right? And then dream and action. These are all the transparency accounts noted in the Indian budget. Taste the scrutiny. When it was noted in two thousand eighteen. Today is a reality, and take it from me. If it continues, most of the work with regards to income tax, GST, scrutinies, everything will just go off in no time. Today, information of your client is more with the hardware than you. Yes, exactly. Answer is very simple. Agree or not? Agree or not? Good, but. So where are you superior? Where are you superior? You are no way superior. Sorry. They just say no when they are running in the line. Just move, 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 move. <laughs> the government is just driving. <laughs> just running. And still we are thinking that still something is life is there. Can come back return. Sir, wait another two years. I'm telling you, GST, income tax, and company law. As per me, my today you note down a date. All return will be combined, and only one single return will be there. Take it from me. Take it from me. Indirect tax laws, which were having opening up till next They're year onwards. They're talking about the data and tell us you pay the tax. That's it, right? Thank you for the transparency reporting, right? Then you see what is happening. Historic agreement. IT and GST department MOU when it was signed kindly I pulled out all these facts. So my time is a limitation. Otherwise, I would have taken you through all the discussion, right? And this is where, wherever you go, my network follows. Touch. I don't know if you remember. Every where today. GPS. See. Yesterday night, I was not aware. This is one app which is there. This is why I told my daughter she is now eleven standard. So I am always worried. I have only one daughter. Where she is, what she is. She has to go with friends also. I cannot control her. I don't want to control her. She has to be open. But I only told one thing. Wherever you are, no, I need your confirmation. Just drop me. You she said wait wait. I'll. She downloaded one app, three sixty live. I was not aware that high age should be aware no reason. And that age, if a child has that knowledge, and she tuck 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 called, we were sitting in car, my wife, me and my daughter. She she told me. He has a problem until then. I tell you, Arvinda Maharshi. She just immediately start downloading, connected with her phone with my phone, took my wife's phone, open, downloaded the app. Connected her phone. Now you tell me what it is. Conference. And yesterday, no conference. No. <laughs> so we get to know where she is, where I am. Yes. We can track it. Yesterday night, I used the magic of that. I told my daughter to come to one particular location. I was reaching a particular location, and it was a point where she said that I am just behind your car. <laughs> <laughs> This is reality. This reality is also there. For your tax compliances, this reality is also there for GST compliances. This reality is there for your financial transaction. This reality is there with regards to any transaction, financial or non-financial, financial or non-financial, is there. You are able to track everything today. That is called digital, right? So with this, I just don't want to take much of your time, and uh, I thought. As much as possible in shortest time, or I think at forty-five minutes. Yes, sir. Comfortably, I hope you had a travel day, a yeah. different journey. Yeah, especially a GST experience. I think we all did. Sir, 
Hi, you all youngsters who are there. If you can see this generation, and I am talking about the next generation. You know who is at a loss? The middle generation of our age. Yeah. Okay. We are thinking we are intelligent. We are making money. We are not working for future. We are still working for past. And fortunately, because of the institute, because of the council, because of the new learnings which I am doing, because of the interaction which I am doing with multiple people, so much of knowledge is there. I am only, only, and only indebted to this institute for giving me the life which I am living. That's it. And if we are able to invite the process, that is the reason the new syllabus within five years we changed. I was the person who got the highest amount of criticism that you are mad what you are doing. <laughs> Honestly, I swear I don't have any, you know, reservation to make any statement. Okay? Not only I, one after another people, then what happened is everyone, council, then they, the wisdom, the power of the council is, you can't even imagine, the 32 people who sit on the council table, no sir, the wisdom they come out with. One is inter external people. But when you go on the council table, the kind of support, the kind of encouragement, the kind of new knowledge which is added, and certain things which we have missed, that is what these 32 council members have actually done. They diverted, they navigated, not diverted. They have navigated this entire project saying that what is to be discussed for the future is this, and we will take a unanimous call we change the entire curriculum in this particular form. So just imagine how futuristic this council is. Can I give you one more example? Yes, sir. Today you are talking about visa, right? System audit. You know, when was system audit introduced in say, ICI? 22 years back. 22 years back, visa has been introduced. I think KMB is the first one after. Yes. That means, see the wisdom of this institute. Today we are talking about technology audit, audit trail, Amka, Tinka, Dinka. What is it? Our institute has already done. We are not understanding the power of our institute. And somewhere we need to move towards a newer adoption. Might be you should actually start service basically rather than conference kind of thing. Take interested workshop. people and do workshop. Small, small workshop. How do you actually use this? How do you actually use that? Which is the area you are listening continuously which you want to learn? Do that workshop. Come ask the branch. Come ask the council members, regional council members to conduct this kind of workshop because we don't have hands-on experience. What is happening in the new syllabus is I don't have to call anyone. Automatically they are going to themselves. So this is the entire ecosystem in which we all are working. I look forward for all your participation in time to come also. And let us see how we can take things forward in true spirit in time to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Friends, that's what they are, sir. Uh, as he said, said, that the government, government is having more information than us. Uh, because uh, we may open a... Uh, Bank account, we may forget and close it, but it is there in their uh, records. So the client may forget about those things, but the department will never forget it. As uh, Sriram said, uh, rightly telling that uh, uh, what they day is not gone away. That uh, total competition of income will be thrown to our uh, desktop table, and if it is okay, just take it. Otherwise, just small corrections, do it and file your income tax return. So the day is not far away. Even our 2B is automatically going to be merged with the tally accounts also with a simple tool. That total purchases will be recorded in the this thing. As we are already having that uh, uh, bank account statement is all by uh, the tally developer. He is giving a simple tool to incorporate the same into the tally accounts. The day is not far away. So forget about income tax, forget about the GST. Just be an advisor to that. These things, uh, be a consultant to that. And if you can keenly follow the things that are given by Daya sir in his mails, where is the real money is there? Where is the real income is there for a chart accountants? Kindly observe those things because 
that is the area that we have to concentrate. That is the major thrust area that we have to uh, do the things. Really, thank you, Zaya, sir. Thank you very thank much. You, this shortest time that you have given the sweetest uh, presentation. Thank you. As a token of love and affection, I request uh, Sriram, sir, our senior member, to hand over a memento to our uh, Zaya, sir. I think our chairman is uh, with uh, Unes, sir, uh, so he could not be able to attend. No problem. One second, I'll take a small snap, sir. Yes. Yes. No, no problem. We want to have Thank you. Friends, uh, let's break for a lunch. Which is a session for the UMA Yes. Friends, uh, Friends, you also know that recently we started to do charge context badminton league. We always are collecting the same. And I request uh, our uh, central council member to hand over certificates to the winners and runners. I request even that the chairman is also coming. One second. Before you choose, sir. Chairman, sir, please come over here. There, sir, uh, in his uh, piece, we are conducting a charity called this badminton league. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, there are winners and the runners are actually finished by your through your hands. And I can pronounce the same. Yes. 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 Please come over here so that we can receive these certificates from the hands of our central council member. Yeah, exactly. Now I request uh, Secretary School who won the third place. So I request the to hand over all uh, certificates to the Secretary who is the captain of the team. I request Sumir sir to please join for the request stations. Uh, the vice chairman's uh, team got the runners up trophy. I request uh, the vice chairman's uh, team members to please come onto the dais. <laughs> so the vice chairman's team member is there a just
Thank you, thank you. Now the winners, uh, I request uh, the team members to please come to the desk. Winners trophy and medals from our central center is there, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Chairman team. Yes, sir. Where are the winners, sir? It is a password, sir. No, sir. She is my daughter in law. Oh, she is also a child. He is a thing. 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 Oh, the Jews <laughs> do You want to do it after this? Yes, sir. We'll go for lunch. Okay, okay sir. We'll go for the lunch and uh, it was arranged in the third floor back side room. Oh, please be join that. Thank you. Yeah, laptop laga dengan, bang. Yeah. 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 Ye